I'd have a little chat about authenticity again, uh, a little more expansion into the topic. I'm lying down and chilling because I've been cleaning all morning and you know my house speaks to me and it's because of the testimonial that I mentioned the other day. Go back a few videos and see what I mean and how I manifested this house and this house is amazing but it's far from perfect. It's a reflection of me and I wanted to chat into authenticity. Authenticity is so far from perfect. You know, authenticity just turns up whether they feel like it or not, whether they um, are dressed for it or not, whether they um, are vibing or not. They just turn up. They just do the do. That's authentic. That is you. That is you being good enough in the energy that you're sitting in now to do whatever you're called to do. If I'm called to speak, I should be turning up whether I'm in a glamorous gown or whether I'm in my gym gear, you know, whether there's distractions and noise in the backyard with my hubby whippersnippering, whether I feel like it or not, I should just turn up because I recognize that that's part of my soul purpose. You see, the carbon copies all want to look the same. They spend so much money on the external because they want to actually manipulate somebody's opinion of them. And that's all due to not feeling worthy on the inside, actually. You might be delaying your healing journey because you're not feeling it or you're worried about crying in a session or you're worried about what others will think or you're worried about what your family will say if you try something that's slightly different. But this isn't humility. I wanted to chat into the two ends of the spectrum that I perceive. We have humility, which is accessing authenticity, actually, or we have pride, which is ego state. Now, pride gives a shit about the labels. You know, you see in my testimonial for my house, spirit had me humble myself, surrender all pride in the postcode that was chosen because I surrendered. I, I said, oh, I'll go anywhere. I'll go anywhere. And I'm not going to make this experience a small one for any of you that might be watching. It's not that easy humbling yourself. But if we recognize that God is within all of us, we must humble ourselves to work with the collective. When I didn't have a home, when I'd lost my millions of dollars, it was somebody else that gave me the house to live in for three years. So do we actually own anything? If I am running in pride and ego, I would not accept that house to live in. I'd probably end up living on the streets. I have to humble my my ego in order to accept help from another. And this could be you on your financial journey, your business journey, your, your relationship journeys, your healing journey. All of these journeys are witnessing what energies we're holding actually. And as I was cleaning my house with water today, non-toxic water, I'm blessing this water and just laying up my imperfect home with spirit hovering on water. I've really resigned myself to the fact that not everybody can feel me in this energy because I have set peace over my front door. And those that are accustomed to war, they won't want to step into a home filled with peace. They'll be judgmental of peace because it doesn't feel familiar to them. But have a think about the beast system and everything that we've been set up and programmed for. Our birth certificates measure our birthdays. We've tethered ourselves to a system of Rome. It's rather interesting how everything's so back to front and how I can see it so clearly now. We get so excited about these holidays that these systems have given us. And yet none of those holidays are holy days or work in our favor, actually. The birthday is giving energetic focus to getting older. 
so many opportunities for word cursing for the program for others to tell us we're getting old for us to feel like we're getting old and yet age isn't a number age is energy right you are as old as you feel so if if you're putting so much enthusiasm into measuring your lifespan or your achievements it's not just birth certificates you see it's what what numbers are in your bank what numbers are in your bank if that's affecting your self-esteem and your energy that is because that's another systematic program that's been set up to bank actually means the mounds of earth that dictate the where the way the water flows and we're all pedaling uphill here you know the elite have their money and their assets in trusts do you hear the difference not pedaling uphill up upstream like a salmon it is in a trust trust is it's a spell word trust is where we should build the foundation for everything so if i'm trusting my destiny um that spirit loves me and that a spirit is abundant i'm not going to measure my authenticity by how many zeros are in my bank account at the moment my car needs fixing and i'm just i'm just saying hey all of my needs are provided for these imperfections that we see in our house and in our bank account and in our cars and our vehicles they're all reflections of ourself but this epiphany hit me today in order to feel into love you will have some dents you will have suffered if not you haven't opened your heart space to love because in order to find love we have to find out what love isn't we have marriage certificates that tell us that we are committed to another and yet the word ma means bitterness so marriage the age of bitterness i mean it's all upside down we have calendars to tell us when to have a holiday which breaks down etymology uh, the etymology for holiday is holy day you haven't got a lifestyle that is working for you you have escapism you're wanting to develop a a break from what you're doing day to day instead of building a manifestational life that you're at peace with everything's back to front we have baptismal certificates where we have suffered into being dunked into a systematic mothership that isn't connected at all it's ruled by reptilians we have settled for sprinkling instead of the plunging into spirit in nature um everything's upside down and yet i am pretty excited because rome has been ruling and the symbol for rome is iron iron weapons war swords systems what actually causes iron to rust well that's oxygen and that's water the two symbols for age of aquarius this just leapt on into me this morning and i'm like wow this is what christ was talking about in luke 22 9 to 13 and he said unto them when ye have entered into the city there shall meet you bearing a pitcher of water a man bearing a pitcher of water follow him into the house that you entereth the house is the age of aquarius so what's going to destroy rome it's accessing the ether again breathwork accesses oxygen breathwork accesses the ether breathwork accesses a higher state of thinking as above so below the ether has been removed during the time of rome from the periodical chart which is the echo if you want to access soul use frequencies and use breath work lean into the humility of being authentic in that every little imperfection that you see within you is natural is meant to be there these little lines they're meant to be there they show that i've been happy these are smile lines every little imperfection that you have journeyed in this body is showing you battles that have happened in the astral everything that little imperfection and wound that you see within your relationships is showing you how to love hard and fast to not quit to not give up there's love available for everyone we just needed to 
lean on into what love wasn't so that we could respect these things. Every little victory that you have in your personal health or your mental health is showing you the waves of the seasons of life, just like nature. Nothing is perfection. Anything that is perfect is fake. And that's what I'd like you to lean into today. When you look around your house, like me, I look around my house and I see all the little imperfections. And yet there's so much love in this house. This is my miracle house. This is where children can play. This is where dents have happened on the wall to remind me that there's been joy and squeals. This is where my dog barks at the window and leaves ugly little nose prints that I've been cleaning off today. This is the area that spirit has gifted me to really make it an authentic difference. This may be an accursed land that's been given a negative postcode by a system that that has called itself Rome. But when I go back to the indigenous, when they lived in this region, this region that I live in was considered to be the most fertile land ever. Is this why my land size is 777? I believe that we are called by the land to bring healing. And don't forget, your body is the elements of the land that you've been called from. If we are interdimensional beings and it's all happening simultaneously, can you imagine what we could see if our eyes were open? If we could see that there were aspects of us on other timelines, all of us put together, now that's perfection. And yet all we see in this dimension is the shadow. The shadow is what we need to love on. All of the imperfections, give gratitude for everything that you see, for all of that's been pegged by Rome. My post box at the front has been falling off the fence. And I realize that even in this symbol, I am not owned by Rome. It isn't the queen's mail. It's my mail. I am perfectly imperfect because that is the way that I've landed in this dimension. So too are you. Give gratitude for every little imperfection that you feel and you will expand into love state again. I hope this helps you process some stuff. Just love and give gratitude for all the good, bad, ugly and the shadow will integrate rapidly.